Hello, my name's Aaron. Welcome to the Bloku Cast. Everyone's favorite Tokusatsu podcast is me, the GOAT. That's it. It's I, Bokusatsu. On, on this podcast, we talk about we talk about toku, non-toku, and other genre stuff. And, uh, well, oops. Oh, my phone. And, uh, well, today we're going to talk about Nipu Sentai Hurricane Jer. And, yes, it took me, like, three weeks to finish this show. Why is that, by the way? Well, work. And also, uh, and also, uh, I just got lazy. Yeah, yeah, and I can't lie, it's mostly work. Work was just stressful as fuck. Excuse my language. So, uh, yeah. So, let's talk about Hurricane here. What are my thoughts? The good, the bad. Do I like it? Do I love it? Do I hate it? Do I despise it as a rewatch? Well, I'm gonna say all that, all my thoughts right here now. So let's begin. Okay, uh, let's go with the characters. I guess we can go with, uh, Yosuke. Ah, uh, I can feel Yosuke. Yosuke reminded me of a, well, a before version of Bond. In the yoga from Deck Ranger and Opera Ranger, and that worked for his character. He felt like he had like that Sheldon anime protagonist vibe, you can say. And I liked that. <laughs> he was loud and obnoxious, yes, but I liked that about him, and that worked for his character, you kind of say. Hard for me to say, but uh. <laughs> the last time I enjoyed a uh, Ranger. A ninja Ranger that that was also a red century like him was uh was uh Sasuke <laughs> from Kaku Ranger and uh yeah so yeah so good okay this dog bark at my window my bad but yeah so okay reminds me of a combination of me not so okay. Yosuke reminds me of a combination of Bond and Yoga, and it works. I like him more when when he's not a obnoxious, loud, loud character. Well, that just works for me, in my opinion, but that's just me. That's just me. But overall, he's chill. He's, he's cool. He had a lot of good moments. He felt like Felt like an anime character, but I would say they all did. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, let's go on to the second kid, the second second member of the team, Naname. And uh, I'm gonna say this: I I love Naname. First time watching her, Kenja, I didn't like it. Cause it was boring. Like no joke, it was actually boring. And yeah, that's a bad taste in my mouth. Two years ago for watching this show. But uh, I can say one of the thing that one the one of the thing that I like about her Kenji for a time was not was not me because well she was cute. Well, I was saying she was hot though, <laughs> but yeah, uh, she was waifu material, but she still is. After we watching it, yeah, she still is. I like not me. She actually want she actually one of my favorite blues. In the episode about in the episode of. <laughs> An episode of her worry about uh, her about worry about a ghost and my ghost and some uh, ghost and thoughts on her cooking it was hilarious and funny. Not gonna lie, I was laughing, but uh, yeah, I like not me. She had a lot of good moments in the show. There were times that her character felt a little bit bland, but uh, it was like it was like it was like what it was like what two or three episodes. Well, that didn't. I feel like two, but that's just me. I think I think I think one of the, I think one of her best hook episode gotta be episode thirty when a Fubara uh be te- uh lied to her for her friendship. And uh yeah, that episode that episode was really well with it. Well <laughs> our boy well my boy Akawa wrote that episode and uh fucking I love this man. <laughs> I love this man. I can't go one second without saying, oh, a cow wrote this episode. God damn it, gonna be some good shit here. <laughs> and trust me, he wrote for like a few episodes. I don't know. He wrote, he, he wrote like what? He wrote, he 
book for like what? I think 10 or 7 or 12 episodes of Hurricane Jerry. And trust me, once you watch it for yourself, you'll see why. What I'm talking about. A cow was an interesting man. But uh, yeah, back to a non I like her. She's cool. She a few times kid her way, but uh, but uh, her her her, but, 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 uh, her actress made it up. Because I'm actually a big fan of her actress, so yeah. <laughs> Nami Nami also part of my top ten sent to sent to sent to what <laughs> top top ten uh Tokusatsu waifus can I say? So yeah. <laughs> She's up there with Sena, uh Sakura from Bokanger. Jasmine from Decker Ranger. And uh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Kelta. <sighs> really enough, Kelta gave me a Sorinsky vibe from Agato. He's just a he's just the best boy. He played Dust he he he's Dustin, right? He's a he's a Japanese version of Dustin, but Dustin was a stoner and an idiot. But again then that Again, yeah, that's what makes Dustin character so good. I like him because of that. Kota is just a similar role. He's like Soichki. Well, before Soichki. He's just an innocent boy. And and he's a character there too. I like that about him. He's cool. I like the episode about him and his sister. <laughs> they were they were they were well written too, I'm not gonna lie. I can't even Kelta got some of the best focus episodes in the show because no one, I don't see a lot of people get love to my boy. That just, that just breaks my heart. <laughs> I like Kelta. Kelta's cool. So let's go. So let's go on and talk about the Go Rigers. Eco, my favorite, actually my favorite character in the show, by the way. <sighs> Eco gave me a Hoji vibe from Decker Ranger and uh, a Sanjo vibe from Abba Ranger. He's mostly the relaxed, chill one of the group, and I like that about him. <laughs> I like that about him. But at the same time, I love the brother relationship between him and him and Ishu because they work so well together as a duo. Iku work well as a separate. Iku work well. Iku work as well when he when the episode focusing on him, but with him and Ishu together. It works. It works so well. It works so well. It works so well. So yeah. <laughs> ah man, I love it. Also, I want to say that uh, I love the Carpenter Rider suit. Probably my favorite suit out of the main six Ranger suits in the whole entire show. I don't know. It's just the. It's just the freaking look of a Kabuto Vito for it. Looks so good. Looks so good. It looks so good. <laughs> but uh, I'll talk about the suits later. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, Eco, I like him. He's cool. He <laughs> he's my favorite character. He's cool. I will say that uh, the the other time felt like him and Kel not Kota, him and. Yosuke felt like they had like this. They felt felt it felt like him and Yosuke had this more big brother relationship instead of him and Ishu. I don't know, that's just me. But who knows? So yeah, back on as I was saying. So yeah, back on as I was saying. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Iko, he's cool. I like him. There isn't much to say about him though, but uh, he's cool. I like him. <laughs> Again, all the kids are written pretty well, so I'm going to be strictly honest and non biased for this review. So let's talk about issue. Alright, I guess I, all right, all right. I guess I need to say. I think issue is probably my least favorite out of the main five. Main five, I'm going. Well, okay, no, main six, Ranger. I don't know, it's like, his separate episodes, like, his own focus episodes are just bland. Like, they're just bland. But like, uh, he had a few cool moments, he had a few good moments in them, but at the same time, 
Yeah, no, he was just annoying. He was just annoying, though. Because, ugh, fucking hell. No, excuse me later, but uh, he was just annoying. He was whiny, he was a brat, and he was, he constantly didn't like it that his brother were, were accepting the fate that, uh, he need, that, 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 uh, they need to join Signs of the Hurricane or in the future Kanda. In the episode, in that one episode when he found his dad's dangerous weapon, it's basically, he basically told his brother, oh, Eco, so, lately you've been joining Signs of the Hurricane the Hurricane so that mean what? Are, are you disrespecting our pack, our Shinobi Ray? I'm like what the? No, dude. No, dude. He still have respect for that. He just joined the good side to defeat Junkanda. That's it. That's all he's doing. Why are you being a brat? I swear. If people talk about Ren from from Saber being annoying. Boy, listen. Put this. Put Ishu in the same room as Ren. Then, then we're gonna have a problem. Then we're gonna talk because they're both fucking annoying characters. Oh God, bring up Ren hurts my head. Yeah, Ishu is just my leave. Yeah, Ishu is just my uh. <sighs> Give me a drink of water. But yeah, Ishu is Ishu is just my least favorite character in this whole group. That's just. He just doesn't construe he just doesn't contribute much. He just he doesn't bring much to the table like the others. So yeah. So let's talk about one of my favorite six rangers, Shurikinger. Okay, I got that. I I, I love Shurikinger. God damn it. First time I watched the show two years ago, I fucking fell in love with his character. Yeah, he was annoying. He was annoying at times. But I really love but yeah, his I really love his I really love his final moments of him venting uh, Gosen, Gosen, Shama, Ghost Lady Gosen, Gosen, and uh, sack myself to sack myself to her Kenji to defeat Shankanda. I, I love that. I love that. I love Shuri Kenji. He was fun. <laughs> he was awesome. <laughs> I am ninja a ninja, ninja twenty disguises. Shuri Kenji. Hell yeah, I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. He's cool. Sure, Kendra is just had one of the best. Sure, Kendra probably have my second favorite suit in the whole entire show. I'm sorry. I'm a sucker for the color green. While black, my favorite. While black is my favorite color, I'm just a sucker for the color green, and it works so well for Sure Kendra design. God damn, I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so cool. He's so good. <laughs> Shuriken is awesome. I love his mechs. I love all the mechs, in fact. Shuriken is themed very catchy. Shitty, 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 Kenja. I'm not going to play it because I don't want Avex to copyright me, but it's so catchy. Listen to it. It's really good. It gave me the same vibe as Decker Break Zenkai. <laughs> and uh, comparing that to Psychic Killer, Psychic, oh, Psychic Lover, I don't know. I feel like both songs on the same energy, in my opinion. So yeah. But uh, all about his character, he's just a fun, lovable guy. <laughs> I love Shurikinger. Also, I will say this: I love the fact how all of his disguises are past Sentai actors. And one uh non Sentai actor, but uh, no, uh, yeah, no, all Sentai actors. His. Let's see, his disguises, his, his suit, his, his, his actor who wore his disguises were all red, mega red, mega blue, uh, <laughs> Galvin, no, no joke, Galvin, time yellow, <laughs> oh, oh, who else? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, yeah, uh, fucking, uh, go red and go, I think go yellow. Dude, he has so many disguises. Oh, yeah, all red. Uh, from Old Ranger, dude, he has so many disguises. Black Blue Racer, he has so many disguises as Sentai actor. I love, I love, I love how Toei did that, and that was, and that was really good, clever on Toei's part. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I love it. Even though I haven't watched all those shows, 
all those Sentai I mentioned, well, I, I didn't watch Car Ranger or Ranger or uh, I didn't watch uh, Yuchi Space Sarah Galvin. But uh, I love how yet yeah, his pack. I love how yeah, I love how yet yeah, he disguised it for past Sentai action. <laughs> and I just want to say that maybe also yes, no, Galvin's a Sentai, but him here's the thing. Kenji Oba was his human disguise. Was his disguise in one of the episodes. And Kenji Oba did play two characters in Sentai. Denji Blue from Denji Ranger. And uh, I think Battle J Fe I think Battle J from Battle J Fever. So yeah. So uh back I was saying. Sure Kenji's awesome. Cool good theme song, very catchy. Love his personality. His death scene his death scene broke my heart because it gave me the exact same vibe as uh, Makoto from Abba Killer. From from Abba Ranger, and I love that. <laughs> sure Kenji is in my top ten, by the way. So I just wanna so I just wanna make that clear, so yeah. <laughs> so, uh we're gonna talk about the villains. Okay, uh we're gonna talk about the villains. Well, okay, I'll alright. I'll get the girls out of the way. Fuba. She's alright. I mean, she's an airhead, but she's dangerous too, but she's alright. Wendy. She's a MILF. She's a horny MILF. Pretty much. I mean, I was crushing on her on the rewatch, so I'm not gonna lie, so she is hot. But at uh, the same time, she's a MILF. <laughs> and that <laughs> And that sums up her character though. I'm sorry. She's a MILF though. Because it felt like when uh it felt like when Sandru came, Sandru and uh and the other one, I forgot his fucking name. I forgot his name. Samatsu sent that counterpart with his fun fact the voice actor is Broly by from Dragon Ball Z. No no joke. The voice actor is Broly from Dragon Ball Z. So I just want I just wanna make that I just wanna Put that in with mine. So, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, it felt like, with it felt like when uh, Sandro came... Those two... Those two didn't do much. Just sitting on the... Just sitting in the lair. And I was just... Well... Man. That was just... That was just... Man, they didn't do much, actually. And that was just... That was just... Lame. They they had like what one or two focus episodes? Actually no. Who who bar who bar uh focus episode was was uh Fubar a focus somewhat focus episode was the same focus episode on Naname. Naname. So yeah. Besides that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Nothing else. And Wendy uh yeah, Wendy was just horny. She trying to she trying to do Blue Racer, but but uh, that shit didn't work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for those two. Let's talk about uh, Mexican Sentai Counterpart. I forgot his name. <laughs> forgot his name. Uh, he's alright. He's cool. I like him. He was he was annoying. I'm not the biggest. I wasn't. I didn't like that. Uh. I didn't like that uh that uh, he was based in a robot suit and the actual villain was just a small little bug inside, but that's just me. Go blue sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But yeah, that's just me. So uh what's next I guess I can say. Oh uh, well Oh uh, yeah, uh <laughs> I can't call him Monodrome. Mon Bandera, sorry, Mon Bandera. I like Mon Bandera. He's cool. I think he's better than Monodrome because in this storm, Monodrome was just basically an ultra ego sort of personality. Why I did enjoy that, I love this one by one of my favorite season. It was just kind of lazy there. He had Hurricane Jet behind that transformation and suit makes way more sense. And I liked it because he was intimidating. He was fucking intimidating. I gotta get props to his voice actor who did that that voice, cause who, because that was 
that honestly felt like the voice of an anime villain, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, I like my brother. He was intimidating. He was tough. He was awesome. He was awesome. And uh, speaking of anime villains, let's talk about uh, let let's talk about Sumatsu Sentai Com part. Yes, I'm calling him Sumatsu because that's his name, Ninja Storm. But I forgot his Sentai Com part's name. And very kindred. And I already said that his voice actor is Woolly. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much, that's pretty much what I can say about him. Because like the whole time I was watching, I was like, okay, Broly, why are you being annoying? Why are you being? Why are you trying to make all these jokes? Because I see you're not Broly, yo. See you're not Broly. Like <laughs> first, you tried to kill Goku. And then before that, you try to fight Ninja Ranger, and after that, after that, your voice has to your voice has to go and voice some dragon monster. And one funny episode of Bo Kinger that gave my boy Chief bad luck. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll talk about Bo Kinger on, on on this podcast. Who knows? But uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, yeah, he was just, he was boring. He was just boring. Yeah, Samachi sent that count part was just boring. Boring, 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 boring. Sorry, he was just boring. He was playing here and there a few times, but yeah, he was just he was alright. I he was alright though. So yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh Tazu Tazu the the boss the final. Do you want a final boss? He didn't feel like a final boss to me. The the plot twist felt like that uh that Sandra was gonna be the final boss after he after well he literally just stabbed Tajin Tajin's Lord uh, Tajin in the freaking eye on the face, but still. But uh, yeah, he was overwhelming. I guess you can say. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He felt he he just felt overwhelming, in my opinion. So yeah, it's re- it's it's forever, I guess. Uh, yeah, the villains. Some are good. Some are alright. Some are just meh. Yeah, well, my biggest problem with the show is the villains didn't do that much. Like, some of them did. I just didn't do that much in the show. And that's just dumb. Hate to say it like that, but yeah, I was just dumb. Anyway, uh, who's next? Who's next? Who's talking about? Oh yeah, uh, guess we talk. Guess we can talk about the mentor and uh, his daughter. They're cool. Simple as that. They don't have characters. They're cool. Well, actually, yeah. Lady Gojin. Meh. I mean, I enjoyed. I mean, I. I mean, I enjoyed the mystery behind her, but at the same time, she felt a little overwhelming. But that's just me. So yeah, it's whatever. So. Who else do we had to talk about? Uh, I guess I guess I can talk about. I guess I can talk about the story. Well, what is the story to Hurricane Jer? Well, five thousand years ago. Uh, a meteor storm happened, and uh, I'm gonna guess. Well, five hundred years ago, the me- a meteor storm happened, and uh, it it brought a prophecy about about something about something gonna happen in the future, and the Jankanda, and the uh, and the Jankanda, uh, well, were interested in this, and uh, that and that brought them to Earth. So yeah, and decided to f shit up, I guess. I'm sorry, but the story is really stupid in this show. It makes no sense. Okay, no. How you gonna tell me? How you gonna overhype? How how are you going to overhype saying what the heck this it is? When we find out, oh, it's just a wormhole. It's literally just a wormhole. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's just a wormhole. So the whole time, it's literally just a wormhole. 
Okay, yeah. Okay, but where? Where else? Where? Where's the wormhole going to? Nowhere. It's just a wormhole that's gonna sink everything in the entire Earth, except for the Junkanda. That's it. And basically, the Junkanda just pretty much tried to become God. Tr trying to become... They, they try to become God, pretty much, by saying, Oh, so after, oh, so after the wormhole destroyed the Earth, we're going to become the strongest in the universe and become God, pretty much. That's pretty much it to say. It gets stupid. Like, it felt like that they forgot about, well, like, what, the second, like, like what, the 20th episode? Not second, the 20th episode? After the hurricane, not hurricane, after the Go Rogers joined the team? It just felt lackluster. Like, if you, like, what was the point of hyping it up? Because, well, it didn't do that much. Well, it didn't do that much, it didn't do that much, though. Like, you try to hype it, you try to hype it up, and uh, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. So, yeah. I don't know, that's just me, but like, it just felt, it just felt like the plot was just stupid. Like, compare this plot to other ninja shows, like, hell, Nin Ninja and Cocky Ranger. Again, the Cocky Ranger's plot just stupid because the main villain, Mega Shenron, just wants to turn, just wants to make Roar into his own negative energy. That's pretty much the plot of Cocky Ranger. He just want to make the whole world in Omega Shenron just want to make the whole world into into one giant ball of negative energy. And her and not her Ninja just plot just your basic normal take over the world plot and that's just it. Because Ninja has so many bad cons, yeah. I still I still love that trash show. <laughs> So yeah, the plot was just stupid here. And I, I can't describe how, but like like the whole plot of the whole plot of them stopping it was just stupid. Like over hyping it didn't do much. Like fuck sake. Kabuto tried to do this with with the whole natives plot and and it didn't work there. And it felt like it felt like I don't know. It just felt like, it just felt like to me that uh oh, we watch. It just felt like to me that uh, I saw this exact story. Oh, did Kabuto did this? I, I always said that, but yeah, Kabuto. One of my main problem with Kabuto is that the show really did try to hype up the whole native natives are good, whatever. But yeah, at the same time, it said oh. Oh, so basically the villain's goal for Nate to take over the world. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? What's this? These jewels are turning humans into natives? Okay, that's dumb. That's like dumb. Hold on. <clears throat> that's just dumb. And I honestly don't know. And I honestly don't know what to say. It felt like the same thing here. Like, like, what's the point of hyping up the big climactic thing that's it? I mean, yeah, it's just a fucking wormhole that that that's playing about to suck up the whole entire Earth. It's just stupid. Just stupid. That's it. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. I'm sorry. It's just stupid. So, yeah, that's just, yeah, the plot's garbage in Hurricane Jerk, but the character makes, but the character makes up for it, so yeah. So, uh, um, so, so let's talk about the mechs. I love the mechs. Uh, Tim, Tim Pujin, Tim Pujin, Tim Pujin, Shin Pujin, Gurajin. I fucking love all the mechs in the show. But goddamn, they're so good. They're so good. My favorite gotta be uh, Tenku Jin and Go Rising. The colors work so good for those. Shit Pooja's alright, but at the same time, but at the same time, I don't know, because 
don't know, but the color just the color just gave me a weird vibe at times, but that's just me. But uh yeah, I, I like all the mechs. I like all the mechs. The crew the crew and the villain mechs as well. They're so they're really good well good design. So yeah. Even though Fubara's even though uh Fubara's uh who be Kubara's uh, mech was a repaint of that one monster that's based off her. So, yeah. But, yeah, I, I like the mechs. They're very good. The, uh, uh, <laughs> what else I say? The theme song's catchy. Same for, same for the outro. The soundtrack's enjoyable. Not, my favorite gotta be the Girl Riger theme. Uh, Nanami uh, insert song. And Shuri Kenja, that's it. Shuri, 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 Shuri Kenja. That's how I love that. But, uh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, like, all I can say for now. But, uh, I'm sorry. I don't have, like, a lot of thought to say. But, uh, I'm not trying to be biased by compared to the new storm because, well. Sorry about that. Because, well, I have a slightly bias toward the storm, you could say. Oh yeah, but uh, I will say this: rewatching the show, I said to myself, "Will this show be in my top ten or no?" And uh, I think I can kind of say, "Yes, it is. It's on the same tie. It's on the same level of, of being my top ten with uh, Decker Ranger number one, Carrie Mage number two." And this and Opera Ranger both in the third spot because of, because well they're both well they're both good shows I love them <laughs> they're both good shows so yeah ah man so good so good <laughs> still yeah Hurricane Jet was ahead of time yes but I will. But I do want to talk about a few things I didn't like about the show. All right, I'm gonna. All right, I gotta say this now. I don't know if this was race. I don't know. I I'll I don't, I don't, I don't, no. I don't think I don't think this was racist or it's or fuck. I don't think I don't think this was racist, but this was. I gotta say this. There was one monster of the week that uh that uh that spit this black gunk on. Yosuke's face that turned into a kid. Uh, there was a moment in that episode that a few Asian people have faces were all black. Now, I'm not calling Toby out for blackface, no. I just gotta say, uh, that felt really uncomfortable. And what episode was this? It was like, it was like one of the early episodes when Yosuke got turned into a kid by Monster of the Week. And, uh, yeah, it felt weird. Yeah, no, it felt, uh, well, fucked up, coming from me, because, well, I'm black, okay? And, yeah, seeing that left a bad taste in my mouth. And I don't know how to feel, I don't know how to feel about that. Again, yeah, then, this is the same company that had, this is the same company that somehow didn't know that, uh, that, uh, Santos actor did blackface one time after the bill was over. Just saying. Hell, even I didn't know about that till till this year. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That one episode just left a bad taste in my mouth. I think my least favorite. Probably one of my least. I think my least favorite. I think for that reason. So yeah. Uh, yeah. What what else can I say about the show? The suits. I love the suits. All I said to my favorite are Carpenter Riser and Shuri Kenji. I still stand by that. I love both the suits. I, I like who I, I like Kuraga Kuraga Riser. I love the navy blue. I love the motif of it being a stag beetle. I love that. I love the Hurricane suits. They all they all were they all were really good. I think, I think my favorite out of, I think my favorite out of the main three for those ones. Probably blue. I don't know. I just love the, I just love the blue they gone with it. So yeah. So 
So yeah. So yeah, that's so yeah, that's it for that. <sighs> Hurricane Joe was ahead of his time, but yeah, after we after we watching the show, I can say that uh, I'm putting Hurricane Joe on my list of top ten favorite. It's in it's in the number three spot, but yeah, it's it's a tie with Alba Ranger. Because both are good. Both are really good show. Yes. But it's a tie with Alba Ranger. And I can say two years ago I didn't like my my, my <sighs> Marcus Satu said this in a video, but I said the same thing on a podcast on the on the Bugman podcast. But uh Marcus Satu said this I didn't know that forget it. Forget what I said about the Bugman podcast. He didn't say that part there, but he said that he said this one part in a ghost review. <laughs> but uh, I think he said in ghosts or old, one or two. But uh, opinions change over time, and yeah, two years ago I watched this show for the first time when, when the pandemic was happening, and uh, I didn't like it. It was boring. The pacing was slow. Only two out of the six characters I like. Everything else was just meh. But uh, after me watching it, I can honestly say it's that the, I gotta say that I can see why it's a fan favorite. Just like Decker Ranger, Lupat, Kira Major, Tokyuger, Time Ranger, and Go Kaiger. And Gal Ranger, funny enough. Yes, Gal Ranger is a fan favorite, surprisingly. I can see why. I can see why. This show was. This show. This show has good and bad moments with me, but at the same time, I loved it. I loved it. So, what's my final word for Hurricane Drew? Well,. I think Hurricane Jr. is good. Yes. Is it perfect? Oh, hell no. It has issues. It has issues. The pacing is... The pacing is mediocre. Some episodes are epic... Some episodes are episodic. Sometimes the character focus episode... Well, a few of them were just bland. Some of the villains didn't do that much. Till the final... Till the final fight. Mechs are good. Love the love the love the soundtrack. <laughs> love the suits. <sighs> the final like like the main plot of why the main plot of it was stupid and I didn't like that. And I kind of find Tanju Tanj Tan Lord Tanju Sama I'm gonna call him Tanju Sama Tanju Sama, uh. Well, I think it's a lackluster, but he's just mediocre. But uh, besides that, but besides that, I like Hurricane Drew. It's in my top ten for sure now. It's in the it's in the same tie as Abba Ranger for number three for my spot, and I love that. <laughs> I love that. So overall. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Hurricane Jr. I did my. Okay, right, so on my tier list, I give it a A because how much I'm enjoying it. But for the podcast, I'm separate. I'm gonna separate my. I'm gonna separate my tier list for my podcast. Uh, I give it a A minus. Yeah, I give it a minus. There are a few things I like. I mean. It had everything I liked. I liked the concept right there, but at the same time, the execution and time were just bad. It wasn't good. I want to say how I feel about everything else on this podcast episode, but yeah. I think I give Hurricane to an A-. It's good. Yes. It's a fan favorite. I see that why. Yes. But just, there are, yeah, there's just, there's just, there's just like things that I didn't agree with the show. So that's just my opinion. So yeah. Overall, yeah, Hurricane should get A- minus for me. So, uh, yeah, that was Neat Piece of Hurricane there. If you like it, I recommend it. If you didn't, that's fair. So, I guess for my next podcast episode, we are going to do...
<laughs> well, I have this with me just in case. So, uh, yeah. Oh, boy, we have a lot of good choices on here. What's next on the wheel for Broku to watch? And we are going to watch. Oh hell no no <laughs> no let's uh, no we're saving we're saving that one we're saving that one for another time we're saving that one for another time what are we watching next fuck all right you know what fine okay fine you know what fine I I'm, I'm okay with this I'm okay with this tune in next time when we will we will talk about Power Ranger Samurai. Oh God, my least favorite Power Rangers series season. No joke, Samurai is my least favorite Power Rangers season, and uh, I've been think I've been thinking about it back and forth. Should I go back and rewatch it? And yeah, time for me to go rewatch Samurai. Oh boy, and just to make this clear, I will be rewatching both seasons, normal and super. So yay for that. Wish me luck, everybody.